This video was made by Buster Duck Productions. <laughs> The Villager News. Breaking news! Today we are going to meet with the President of Zimbabwe and take a look inside of Zimbabwe and some of its secrets. Ever since its foundation under the Tea and Crumpet Empire in the 19th century, Zimbabwe has always been a nation of conflict. Clashes between the white upper class and the majority African population have been a hotbed of controversy for centuries. Wanna take a sip of my beer? I'm villager number nine, and I'm going to be interviewing these people. What do you think of your country? I love my country, and I hate these foreigners who are trying to invade us. What about you? Well, I'm tired of, like, people taking my native home. I've been here for, like, two years already. Interesting. However, none of them come pl close to the most controversial figure of all, Emperor Mubamba Umbanda Wudutu Bukasa Lucifer, the President of Zimbabwe. Greetings everybody, I am Lucifer, the President of Zimbabwe, the most democratic country in the world. Come on, let me show you inside my presidential palace. Here is where my secretaries work, currently they're on vacation. This here is my bookshelf. None of these books are real because nobody's allowed to read. Lucifer has been president of Zimbabwe for many, 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 many days. How long have you been president of Zimbabwe? Well, uh, you see, I've been president of Zimbabwe for like 200 years. Up until 2013, Lucifer's presidential palace was guarded by many of his fellow civilians. Soon the president developed interesting tastes. Okay everybody, I'm gonna show you all my friends. This is my Isabel body pillow. Hey guys, I'm Isabel. She's pretty hot. Here's my Chuck E. Cheese body pillow. He's hot. Uh, Barney's gender neutral. And this is my favorite one of all. It's my OC. Lucifer's infatuation with ponies started getting a little too extreme. Okay, we can't show that. Lucifer would take his pony everywhere. Alright, everybody, do you love your president? No. Really? Yes. Well, if you love your president so much, then maybe you should start paying your fucking taxes so we can afford his big gay pony parties! Soon, Lucifer would get rid of his entire guard in April 2013. So, um... Uh... Yes. Our glorious president. Um, so, um, listen, this is a hard decision, but I think I'm gonna have to let you guys go. Wait, really? We've been working for you for years, and we get a lot of pay, and we don't want that to stop. I know, but I'm gonna have to let you guys go. Goodbye! <laughs> this is so emotional. <laughs> Lucifer would proceed to change his entire guard into a full female, uh, expedientary force. We're ready to fight for you, Lucifer! Yay! Everything was going well for him, until one day in 2018. Okay, so here's a little tour of my, uh... Get the fuck out of here! Um, no! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Okay, um, uh, here is my office! Lucifer would stab himself in the eye that day. This here is my giant AIDS pen. If you cut yourself, you get AIDS! Uh, help, help, call a doctor! I'm Morgan Freeman. Lucifer would go under extensive treatment. Ow, 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 ow! Ow, this scar hurts, ow! Do you need more healing crystals, Mr. President? I don't think the healing crystals are helping me. Shut up, I'm the expert. No gay. Lucifer would get good and bad news. Well, I have some good and bad news for you. What? Uh, you, uh, the AIDS got so bad, you just became it. Wait, I'm the AIDS? Are you trying to tell me that I'm the AIDS? Yep, you are.
And, uh... Was that the good news or the bad news? That was the good news. The bad news is, is that you have leukemia. Wait, what? Only very recently did Lucifer come back into the public eye after his procedure. Recently, in 2021, he made this announcement on Villager News Zimbabwe. Hello, people of Zimbabwe! I have had hard times for three years! But now, I'm rising from the ashes and I'm stronger than ever! <laughs> Lucifer, remember you have cancer. Shut up! You're cancer! <gasps> Why'd you have to be so mean? Now Lucifer currently awaits his position in the world table. As the war in Ukraine goes on, he wants to support Putin. Hey, it's my pass off from 2018! Get back out of here! Fortnite's lame. I like playing Fall Guys. With Lucifer now healed, the world awaits to see what he will do next. Life in Lucifer's Zimbabwe is anything but pleasant. I want change! I want change! Will you like shut up? I'm poor now too! We're all poor, and I think it's because of the president. Is there something you said about the president? Uh, nothing. I'm okay now. Good. Now you all better stay good. Okay, okay! I like the president! I love him! I'm using this gun to kill people who don't like him, like... See this guy? He didn't like the president, so I shot him! Oh, Alright, son! Lucifer's Zimbabwe is a dystopian nightmare. There's only hope that one day he'll, follow, he'll finally keel over. I'll never keel over! I'm really healthy! Got him having a heart attack! Yeah! What the heck are we gonna do today? I don't know! I'm so confused! Uh, Mario Luigi, stop yapping! I'm making hamburgers! Oh, really? Alright, yep. Uh, how many do you want? I'll have a two! Alright, I'll have two, two. Uh, two, two? Uh, that's funny. Well, anyway, I'm gonna make some. Okay! Luigi, I'm going out to play! <laughs> oh! Ow! Mario, why the heck did you trip? You, you, you decided to trip. That, that, nobody did that. That was your fault. That was your fault. Nobody else. Luigi, sometimes gravity is really mean to Mario, and I, I just don't get why. Maybe it's because Mario's mean to gravity. Hey! I mean, I'm, I'm not mean. I'm nice to everyone. Screw you, Luigi. Yeah, uh, that wasn't very nice, Mario. Kinda hurt my feelings, but I'll power through it because I'm a strong and independent man. <laughs> All right, your hamburgers are done. All right, um, um, um. yummy. Come on, Mario, get your hamburgers. Okay. <laughs> To party, we like to party. Go to Zimbabwe. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Zimbabwe bus. Now let me introduce myself. I am a uh uh. uh I, I don't know. Uh, a big Stewie. Yeah, I'm big Stewie. I got news for you. Zimbabwe is the best place to go. Huh? Yeah, come to Zimbabwe, we're like really rad! 
Uh, oh? Uh, uh, I'm not too sure about this. Get on the bus right now! Uh, uh, fine, let's go. Everybody, we're going to Zimbabwe. Oh, let's go on a vacation! Yeah, uh, you could say it's a bit of an extended vacation, but whatever. Come on, let's go! Okay! Let's get to it! Zimbabwe now. This is uh this nation is uh here's its borders. All right, everybody, come closer. This is a map of Zimbabwe. This is the Zimbabwe Empire. As you can see, it still has a glorious president who respects all of his people. Wait, what? What? What the heck? That is not Zimbabwe. Francine, what are you to say what Zimbabwe or not? I've seen a normal map of Africa, and Zimbabwe is usually like here. Well, this is the Zimbabwe Empire. There's South Africa, Uganda, and e Ethiopia are independent countries, and there's also Liberia. But there's also an autonomous republic due to uh, the infinite amount of gratitude our president has. He gave us an independent republic. The Sea Rocket, the Autonomous Republic of the Sea Rocket, right here! That looks like a fucking penis. No, no, it's not! Our glorious president decided to make an entire new landmass to put all of our people on! You see, we live right here. This is Harare! There's Uganda, too, run by Uganda Knuckles. There's Ethiopia, run by Starvin Marvin, King Julian. Uh, I don't know, some racist dudes? Um, there's Mansa Musa, Cleopatra, and, uh, that's basically just Carthage if it believed in Islam. Yeah, that's Africa! Yeah, so that's a map of Africa. So the next time you decide to be a little geography peep, uh, yeah, don't, because I know it better than you. Oh, don't give me the sad look. Well, anyway, uh, there's, that's the presidential palace. It has a very inspirational message written on it. It is a peaceful recommendation to the people to, re to obey Zimbabwe. Very peaceful, very peaceful. Very, very, very subtle, too. Oh, boy, we're living in a dictatorship. He's not a dictator. I'd say he's a regulator. He regulates things. He he call, he likes to call himself a regulator. He likes to regulate things so that the people don't go too far. You see, he likes to call this an autonomous imperial republic, meaning that it's both very independent along with all of its people. It is also an imperial republic, meaning that it's an empire, but it's run by a president who can be voted in and out of office. It just so happens that for the last 3,000 years, I mean it, he literally, we've he's been president for 3,000 years, or that's what the media says. So he's been president since ancient times, it says. So, uh, yeah, he uh, just so happened to get voted in every single time. So wait. So wait, Lucifer has literally been going on a propaganda campaign to pretend that he's been in charge of Zimbabwe for like the past 3,000 years. I mean, I wouldn't say that, but more of a information campaign. I knew Charlie's dad was weird. Man, he makes Charlie look like the sane person here. I know, right? Well, yeah, I mean, a sane person, yeah, sure, but I mean, he... He's an all-knowing God, you know. He knows everything. He knows when you were born. 
Well then, when why was I born? Uh, I don't know. I need to go ask him. Hey, President of Zimbabwe. Yes, I'm taking a shit. W when was Francine born? Who the fuck's a Francine? I mean, uh, yeah, she was born on September 11th, 2001. See? No, I wasn't. Something's very weird about this place. Can we meet your president? Okay! Just be me- Alright, I will warn you though, I gotta- I gotta say this in a way that doesn't anger him, but um... Uh, you need to calmly regulate the stuff that you're saying around the president. Especially what you say about him. Otherwise, he's gonna have one of his bad moods. Bad moods? Yeah, one of his cranky moods. I mean, he never gets cranky. He's a uh, one of his not so happy moods. One of his sad moods. He gets sad. Aww. Uh, he gets sad? That's sad. Um, how can we cheer him up? No, not as sad as in sad. Like, if you say something that he doesn't like, you'll get quote unquote sad and you'll disappear forever. Oh, so he executes people. Uh, between you and me, basically, yeah. Well, I knew we were living in North Korea. Wait a minute. I I'm sorry to say this, but doesn't this place look a little developed for an African country that isn't South Africa or, a or an Arabic country? I mean, yeah, I guess so. But remember, this is Zimbabwe. You know Rhodesia, right? Uh, y yeah, there was an episode about it. Uh, yeah, uh, basically... He, uh, liberated the population from Rhodesia and created the the, he the heavenly republic of Zimbabwe. And ever since then, everybody has lived in constant comfort and luxury. Man, this propaganda campaign is just like a freaking comedy movie. Hmm. Almost like we're in one. Yeah, 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 um... You can meet the president, just don't... don't... get on his sad moods. Alright. Alright! This is a meeting! Alright, advisors! Propose your proposals! I think we should make healing crystals mandatory! Shut up, Boogeyman! Oh yeah, also, this is a new version of the Boogeyman, he's not... I mean, he's gay, but not as gay as he used to be. Uh, I think that we should... Eradicate the unneeded populations. Nope. What about you? Ah, it's you, Mickey, leader of the Autonomous Republic of the Sea Rocket. Oh, oh, yes, I am. And I am a democratic leader just like you. Shut up, you're a dictator. Well, says you, you're a fucking dictator. I am a leader of a democratic society that only kills people like every two minutes. Okay. Well, I kill people every two seconds. So, I'm even more democratic than you. That's not democratic. That's called dictatorship. Shut up. I can I can redefine whatever I want. I'm I'm the president of the Empire of Zimbabwe. Even though that sentence doesn't make sense, I am president of an empire. And you? Nah, I'm sus. Everybody knows you're sus. Nah, you see that house? I burnt it down. Ah, uh, yeah, you did. That was my old house. Time to uh, make you go away for a little bit. What? Uh, I, I'm pretty sus. Uh, do you know that? Uh, I'm pretty sus. Okay, then. Oh, uh, Mr. Glorious, Godly, Divine, Big Daddy, Sugar Daddy Leader. Uh, yeah? What do you want? I'm ruling my country, do you see? Yes, master, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay, with my infinite amount of of gratitude, I forgive you. Oh, it's to it's tourists. Hey everybody, I'm the leader of Zimbabwe. What? Yeah. You see, Zimbabwe is a democratic nation. We stand for freedom. And we believe that every person shall make their own rights. Yes, I did. I'm free and I vote in free elections. Yes, 
and it just so happens every election I was chosen to run again yes we did we voted for you 100% of the way and we don't even know who that other guy was I don't think he's around anymore he probably went on vacation yep they went on vacation into the clouds but as for me I will be president for another 3,000 years yep you've been president ever since the pyramids were built I know I even saw their construction and I paid for them because of my infinite amount of uh what's the word uh Gratitude! Uh, friendliness, yeah! Something like that. So, you've uh, been president since when the pyramids were built? Yep, I was! I was president across the Middle Ages. Unfortunately, the dang British came in and took my land. But, I became a settler, and I founded Zimbabwe again! Zimbabwe was founded twice over its lifetime. Nah, I'm still sus. And you're gonna die! Ugh. So that's why I am now the president of Zimbabwe. And I'm even thinking about renaming it to Wakanda just because of how good we live. Yeah, and we're gonna use healing crystals in all of our medical facilities. Yes, we are! It's gonna be truly an amazing... Da da da. Oh! Da da da. What the fuck? Da da da. Oh! Da da da. Hold my beer. Da da da. Da da da. What the heck happened to the president? Da da da. That's kind of weird. Da da da. That's kind of Steven Universe. That's some weird Steven Universe shit. Oh. Oh my gosh, my head! Oh, my head too! Wait, 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 wait a minute. Who are you? I'm Lucifer Nutkiss of the Empire of Zimbabwe. If you conduct yourself well, you can consider us friends. Well, I am Lucifer Nutkiss of Rhodesia. If you conduct yourself well, you can consider us friends. <gasps> Your dictatorship! Your dictatorship! What the heck's going on here? Uh, what the heck just happened? You see, I am here to found a colony. The colony of Rhodesia. Well, I am here to found the Democratic People's Republic of Zimbabwe. I don't know what the heck's going on. You have... Lucifer Nutwink number one, Lucifer Nutwink number two, Zimbabwe Rhodesia. Wait, Zimbabwe Rhodesia? Hmm, which one of you is the real Lucifer? I'm the real one, because I was one of Zimbabwe. Fair point. But I founded the nation before it, Rhodesia, and the people lived better lives than you lived under your place. No, but you hate black people. You hate black people too. You're right. Yeah, that's right, you're both racist. However, I founded a nation well filled with mouses. Yeah, that's why I made it an autonomous republic. The freaking rocket ship land is literally a bunch of mouses. What the heck's going on here? That's it. I'm moving away. I am going to found Rhodesia elsewhere. What the heck's going on? Who are you? You look like somebody who's sensible. I'm Papa Luigi. Okay, what else? Uh, I have a son, Mario, and Luigi Jr. Ow. 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 Interesting. Well, I'm sorry, I cannot chat right now. I have to go found Rhodesia. La 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 la. I don't know what to do. I mean, I don't want Zimbabwe being like this anymore, but I'm worried about that guy's views. I think he's pretty racist, so he might do some apartheid type shit. I mean, yeah, you're right. I, I don't want to work for him anymore. Hey! You're all getting executed now! Not if we don't abide by your rules! <gasps> oh! Hold my beer, Peter! Oh wait, he's dead. 
Well, I'll just kick him. I'll kick him with my legs. I'll stomp on his face. No! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, oh! Oh! That hurt. I wonder where the heck that other guy is going. Yeah, where the heck is Lucif Lucifer Nutwank? Wait, his name's Lucifer Nutwank. I mean, yeah, that's his name. That's weird. We must begin our forward push, men! Aye, aye, Captain! Alright, we're in the middle of the ocean. We'll never reach shore. It appears I made a slight miscalculation. It's time for me to found the colony of Rhodesia. We wish you luck, Captain. Goodbye, Captain. Goodbye, Captain. I'm gay. All right, time for me to go. Time to uh, time to tame this uninhabited land. First things first. I must establish a cabin. Ah, this settlement is a humble beginning, but it's for the Queen and for the Empire! Yes, it is! We'll do anything for the Queen and for the Empire! I'll join you! Alright, Captain, what should I do now? Explore that uninhabited tribal village! Hello! This is the British Empire! Give us your property! Huh. They refuse to submit to the Tea and Crumpet Empire! Uh, they don't really know how to handle with the Queen! We will make Queen Victoria proud and give us some tea and crumpets from Africa! The village of news. Breaking news! Zimbabwe fallen into anarchy! Village number 9 is in Harare at the scene. Thank you, village number 4. I'm currently in the capital, presidential palace in Harare. This is the first time in history that us, village of news, opulent Maryland, America, whatever that country we live in, this is the first time ever we are directly able to film inside. Here, we have the guy who allegedly conducted the coup. Wait, I didn't coup him. I mean, I technically stomped on his head, so he's pat he fainted like a fucking Pokemon. <sighs> yep, he fainted. But, uh, uh, yes, I'm the guy who staged the coup. Fuck you, I staged the coup! What? Ah! It appears that a second coup just took place! Nah, I'm alive. I'm gonna stage a coup against you. Ah! Well, there you hear it is, folks. The third coup in one day? Has that ever happened before? Oh, I'm gonna create the healing crystal empire of gayness. Ah! The fourth coup? I think you know what's gonna happen now. Ah! The fifth coup? Well, you hear it here, folks. The sixth coup. Ah! Now I am president of Zimbabwe, and I, abol I am abolishing the government and creating the empire of Testifica. Goodbye, Zimbabwe. Here is a tribute. Uh, Zimbabwe. I miss you. I want you to come back. Zimbabwe and strong and now that you are gone I can't sleep I just hate the sin without you <coughs> without you When I woke up on the 28th of May, I looked at my TV with tears rolling down my cheeks. You dang cooers, you cooed him! I miss you! I miss you, Zimbabwe! That freaking guy is dead! I miss you! And so that's the end of 
the Empire of Zimbabwe. It lasted 10,000 years. probably a gymnasium so people can get fit. This here is a supermarket. The glories of capitalism. All right, everybody. Now I'm president now. And as your first presidential act, I am going to, um, I actually don't know. Oh, uh, you could give the African population rights. Hmm, maybe I should build a giant swimming pool. And you can give the African population rights. Maybe, after that, I should build a water park! And give the black people rights. Maybe, after that, I'll build a car dealership! And give the black people rights. Alright, fine, I'll give the black people rights. Yay, non-racist Rhodesia has been achieved! Alright, uh, now, uh... Alright, now we're good, we're good. Uh, yeah, let's just make sure Zimbabwe doesn't come back and kill everybody. You're right! My main purpose here is to keep Zimbabwe at bay and keep Rhodesia play in. Well, you're definitely going to want to get a military, something that Lucifer didn't have. And you're also going to want to build schools because he banned books. You see these? Those aren't real. Those are just part of the bookshelf for decoration. He wants to believe he's smart, but he's not. Sometimes I want to believe my s I'm smart, but in reality I have like an IQ of 70. It's better than an IQ of 30 like him. Well, Rhodesia's back, everybody. Rhodesia's back. Hey, everybody. Wait, Chrissy? When did you get here? I got here right now. The reason I'm here is because I appeared in the thumbnail. You should really sub to W. Ruger. He made a great thumbnail. W. Ruger, if you're watching this, thank you. Well, now, with Rhodesia restored, let's hope Lucy the old Lucifer doesn't come back. Oh, wait, Rhodesia's gone? Yeah. It's... I mean, no, Rhodesia's here. Zimbabwe's gone and Rhodesia's back! Oh, okay. Ugh. Dang it! I've been exiled! Alright. Lucifer Nutwink. This is your one chance, your one time to restore Zimbabwe. The way it's been is the Zimbabwe! Yeah, that's the way. <laughs> I made a funny joke. Well, anyway... Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe has been here for 12,000 years. And we're not gonna give it up right now, are we? Are you gonna speak to me? You know, I'm your president still. Do you want to be my girlfriend? Please talk to me. <laughs> Fuck you! I don't need you anyway. You don't even pay attention to me anymore. Is it because you realize my penis is actually two inches? I mean, I didn't need to say that out loud, but... Yes, that is with an erection. I know! Dude, what the hell happened to you? You're down bad! Yeah, I am. They took my country away, they took my wife, they took my friends, and they took Zimbabwe! Uh, Zimbabwe was lame anyway, I like Rhodesia. Of course you do, because you're white. Yeah, I am, and you're white too. I can see your skin under the mask. I'm not white, I am Turkish. Guys, uh, listen, we all know you're from Poland. No, no, I'm not. 
Yes, we, we, yes, you are. You grew up in Poland. You grew up in communist Poland. Then you escaped to America, and here you are. And you raised the sun here, too. That's exactly what happened. That's your life story in a nutshell. We're going to make an entire episode about it in Season 7, by the way. And it's going to be probably longer than this movie, maybe. But who knows? It's going to be very detailed. All right, then. But, uh, Asshole McGee, will you help me get my nation back? Why should I help you? Uh, I don't know. Reasons? Hmm, I better get something out of it, though. Uh, fine. If you... Do it. Hi. You can beat up Fat Five World all you want. <gasps> hmm. That's a pretty good deal. Dad, what did you just bargain me in for? Uh, son, if we get Zimbabwe back. I like Rhodesia better. I like oppressing people. I love oppressing people too. <gasps> really? Okay, I'll join you then. Alright, so Asshole McGee's gonna kick your ass if we get Zimbabwe. Wait, what? Yeah, well, we better get Zimbabwe back before Rhodesia becomes even whiter Rhodesia. Oh, yeah, also, I heard news they're not uh, doing the race policies anymore, so it's no longer apartheid. I think the, um, yeah, I think, he, uh, I think Rhodesia is probably going to be basically Zimbabwe, but richer. Ah, uh, screw Rhodesia! I hate it when this country's rich. I like it when it's poor and vulnerable. Uh, come on, men. Come back here. Okay. What do you want? Uh, you see? You look at those mountains. Uh, yeah? Those are the mountains. Where Rhodesia... I mean, Zimbabwe. I keep on getting that mixed up. Zimbabwe was founded. We climbed up the mountains years ago. And I put the flag of Zimbabwe on top. And I proclaimed the Empire of Zimbabwe in 10,000 BC. Fuck you didn't. Zimbabwe didn't exist in 10,000 BC. Yes, it did. Shut up. In fact, I think Neanderthals were still alive in 10,000 BC. No, they weren't. Uh, yes, they were. <laughs> well, if you two are going to be mean, then just leave my campfire alone. Fine. I'll help you restore Zimbabwe as long as I get a good position in government. All right. And I'll help you as long as Asshole McGee doesn't kick my butt. Whatever. I don't want to touch that asshole anyway. Fine. <laughs> ah, glorious Rhodesia. The land where the sun never sets. Wait, no, that's tea and crumpet empire. This... It's Rhodesia! Oh, those are clouds. Never mind. The greatest nation in all of Africa. Alright, everybody. What to do now? Uh, I don't know. Have you heard any news of the other Lucifer? Nope. No news at all. That's good. He looks like he's gonna be off our hands for a while. Yes, he will. I guess it's time we just sit in here and relax. Yep, men and women. Sit in here and relax. I'm going to view the sunset. Da, 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 da. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, open the door. Five, six, pick up the dicks. I mean, sticks. Uh, sorry, guys, I, I forgot. Mm. Huh? Uh, fat five-year-old, get your geeky ass together. Okay. No. My ass is together now. Mm -mm. You know, Dad. You know, Dad. I have something to tell you. When I looked at my asshole and saw the butt crack, I thought my ass was divided. I thought my ass was divided. Well, your ass is united once again. Yay! I can't poop. Uh, you're probably always constipated all the time. Yeah, I am. Wonder why I fart so often? No wonder. Uh-oh! 
Dad, I'm scared. I'm worried this place might be a huge big city. It is, but luckily, I know everything around my place, and I would never let my country to be that developed. Uh, I did not intend for this to happen. Uh, what the heck happened to my beautiful Zimbabwe? Dad, I think your nation became a first world nation. Screw first world, I want to be third world. Third's the best number anyway. Ugh. And if there was a fourth world, I'd rather be that. Ugh. Uh, Dad, it looks like your people are living better lives. <laughs> these aren't my people, these are the people of Rhodesia. Uh, actually, I think a lot of these people were living in Zimbabwe before. Now look at them, they're all living, they're all living in good cars. Time to go home and talk to my family. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, sir. What the heck is this shit? It disgusts me. I need to talk to whoever's president. Welcome to Rhodesia. Freedom is my stand, and freedom is what I will defend. Your nation's too free for me! Well, that's too bad! Rhodesia is meant to be a free nation in Africa. Basically, a Wakanda, except more mixed. It's a... it's a... there's a lot of white people and... Uh, even more black people. Yeah, except everybody... everybody's living American-style lives, anyway. Ah, uh, Keep this American influence out of my country! I'm sorry, but... What else can I say? We're no longer being sanctioned. People recognize us as a country. Britain's trading, China's trading, America's trading. What else can I say except we're doing well for ourselves? Except for you, you purposefully closed yourself off of the rest of the world. And now, I mean, we still own all of the land that you own. Except we're actually putting it to good use. Really? Yeah, it's even to the point that all the countries around us like Ethiopia, Uganda, and even South Africa are becoming impoverished. Compared to us, anyway. South Africa's still okay, but they're like Canada compared to us. Oh, oh, okay. But, uh... That's bad! I wanted my country to be terrible! <sighs> and I also saw a lot of schools in the city. Yeah, I've been building schools so people can actually learn shit, unlike you. Now people are allowed to use their creativity to make the music that I'm listening to right now. I didn't make that. My, neither did my government advisors. Those are my own people. My people made that music. Oh, I'm proud to live in a nation like this. Aren't you proud? Fuck you. Well, if it makes you feel better, I'm technically a military leader. I lead a military junta. Just to make you feel a little bit better, I'm technically a dictator. Except I don't kill people who say bad things about me for the most part. But, I mean, I'm not perfect because I am Lucifer too. Oh. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better, but I still want to make Zimbabwe again. Well, good luck with that. Well, I'm gonna call- I'm gonna start a bush war. See you later, sucker. Uh-oh. What the heck's going on? We have a bush war on our hands. I'll prepare the- I'll prepare the army. I'll prepare the Air Force. Welp, here we go again. Oh boy. You have chosen to threaten Rhodesia, and you will pay greatly for it! Well, you have chosen to take over Zimbabwe, and you will suck a dick for it! <laughs> oh, that's what you're gonna sound like. I don't know why I recreated that. That's because you're stupid and gay. Oh, I'm also homophobic. Oh. Alright, now, let's begin the battle! Oh. Oh. oh! This is exactly what I intended! Zimbabwe is winning! You have only two men left! You might as well surrender right away! I refuse to surrender! Because I know that Zimbabwe is a land of freedom, and I refuse to get up. Sending in the extra reinforcements. Oh! 
Oh, look at your puny little men. They're trying to fight. It would be a shame if I blew them up with my gun. Darn. Fuck! <gasps> Come on! Fight, 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 fight,
I, I don't even know what the heck's going on! I'm gonna shoot you! Fuck! Ah! Ah! Rhodesia will rise! And Zimbabwe will fall! Here! Shoot these guys! Shoot them! Just wipe them out right now! Alright! I want to shoot him! There we go! Rhodesia has won again! Yeah! Goodbye, Zimbabwe! <sighs> I see the face of God! If I look through a mirror... No need to be a sore loser, Lucifer! Hey, your name's Lucifer, too! I know! We're both Lucifer! I know! But I lost! Trust me, you'd be crying the same way if you lost! I know, but right now I'm in victory, so I'm gonna call you stupid poo poo head. You're stupid poo poo head. Go kill yourself. Everybody, I'm so sad. I might actually kill myself, guys. I might actually do it, guys. I might actually kill myself. Everybody, I'm gonna jump off a tree. Goodbye. Ow. Ow, no, that actually just hurt. That didn't do anything, that just hurt. Well, that's too bad. I'm gonna go and rule Zimbabwe. I mean, Rhodesia, because Zimbabwe sucks. Well, it looks like we won another battle without the helicopter. Hmm. I would still like to use it for something, though. <laughs> Zimbabwe will never recover. Wait, what? Hey, Lucifer. Hey, kitty cat. Wanna get sus? May I tickle your bitties? I have a gift for you. <gasps> your tits? Ah! I'll take care of things. Okay, I'm done now. Ow! Ow! That bomb hurt! Ow! Hey, Dad! Son, why the heck are you wearing a mask? I mean, uh, a, uh, a freaking wig. Uh, Dad, it's to cover up my bald spots. I don't want people to see my shiny dome, Dad. Ugh. Whatever. Alright, McGee. What should we do now? We lost two battles and things aren't going well. I don't know. I think it's a lost cause. We should probably just call it off and submit. Do you really think I'm gonna give up that easily? I have been president for 10,000 years! No, you weren't. You were, like, president for, like, what? A week? Like, a couple weeks? That's it. You've been president since July. That's it. Screw you, McGee! I don't know what else to say except screw you, too. It's a fact. You've only been president for, like, a few weeks. Get over it. Hey! Get back here! You don't walk away from your president! Who said I would? Hey, listen. I don't live in your nation. I live in America. Screw you, man. Uh. Five, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do either. Why are you asking me? I'm gonna need to figure out something else. 
<sighs> We're going to need to reorganize, that five-year-old. This time, bigger and stronger than ever. I think we're going to need some alliances. With who? Hmm. You know, that five-year-old, I'm not too sure if this might work, but might as well give it a shot. What are you talking about? I think I know somebody who I can ally with. Uh, ow! Uh, ow! That five-year-old help me, I had a stroke. Uh, okay! Uh, that five-year-old help, I'm having a stroke! I'll kill you! Alright, son. We're here! Uh, Dad? What the heck is that? Son. Welcome to the Butt Cheek Confederacy. Now tread safely, for their great butt lord has not farted today. How did you know he hasn't farted today? I can tell by the smell in the wind. <laughs> the wind still smells pure, but soon the farts will come ashore. Okay, Dad. This place scares me! And listen, I love farting, but this place is terrifying! Be quiet, son. We are going to his buttliness. Come on, son! D Dad, why did everybody fart as you walked past them? That is a high honor! Yes, it is! Now come on, fat five-year-old! Poor Dad, I'm here. Alright. Bow down to me. Yes, your buttliness. We have come on a diplomatic mission. Uh, yeah, we have. Why are you two here in my buttocracy? We have a proposal for you. What is your proposal? If you decide to help me get my nation back, then we will grant you full international recognition and we'll build a giant butt cheek in the sea for you guys to live on. Hmm, what an interesting proposal. It sounds pretty good. What do my advisors think? Oh uh, yeah, you should definitely do that. Yeah, you should. I ate Taco Bell. <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess I have my decision. I accept. And you will bet. You better build that butt cheek, and you better make it big. You should build a giant piece of shit in the water too. Uh, uh, okay, uh, I'll do that too. Good. Now my buttocracy will rule an island in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. All right. Lucifer, when will we begin our attack? We will be beginning our attack tomorrow. Summon your men. Summon your fort cannons. We're heading straight to Salisbury first thing in the morning. Really? Now that sounds pretty epic. What the fuck's going on? Uh, uh, hey, Waluigi. I was waiting for you, buddy. Don't touch me. You have fucking poo on your hands. What the heck's going on here? Uh, uh, funny things! Yeah, it definitely looks like some funny things are going on here. There's shit all over the ground. You can't actually see it, though. Uh, but... Why the fuck is there shit everywhere? Uh, I was painting. Yeah, I'm sure you were. Why the fuck did you draw a frickin' dildo on this tree and it's covered in poo? Uh... I don't know! Ask yourself! <sighs> you concern me, Wario. What the heck's going on? He agreed to work with me to restore Zimbabwe after the coup! Oh yeah, that's right, the coup. I don't want them Rhodesians here. Oh no, uh, I'm loyal to Zimbabwe. Good! I'm glad to hear it! I'm gonna give this guy his own autonomous republic buck cheek, and I'm also gonna give him a piece of poo that he also owns. Yay! I have an autonomous republic! Watch as he frickin' turns it into shit. Haha, <laughs> I get it! No, but seriously, he's gonna run the place into the ground. <gasps> Shut up! I'll run your ass into the ground! Ah! I kinda just fell over.
Yeah. All right, Lucifer. Tomorrow we strike Salisbury. Yes, indeed. Tomorrow is the big battle. Time to sing a song. What a time it was. A few friends to turn to. What a time it was. When all we, we did seem wrong. We'd broken, broken all our bonds, bonds and the battle plan was drawn. What a time. What a time it was. Oh, uh, geez, um. Okay, uh, bad news. What? What the heck's going on? Uh, you might want to look outside. What? What the heck are you talking about? Zim Zim Zimbabwe, hey! Zim Zim Zimbabwe, hey! Aw, oh, crap, I shit myself. Uh, yeah, like I said, not good at all. Hmm. Oh boy, if it's a fight they want, well, it's a fight they'll get! Uh, wait, I mean, we basically won the last two battles. I think we're ready for a fight. Yes. Alright, order an evacuation for all the civilians, and submit the male population to conscription. Um... Oh boy, uh, I hope people are patriotic. Yeah. Oh boy, who's ready to kick some commie ass? Oh yeah! Look at me, Dad, I'm a fighting machine! You look mediocre at best, Luigi. Look at my people! They have armor, we got guns, and we're American! Yeah, and yep, and we're 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 fine Rhodesian army. Exactly. But Dad, look at me. I'm a fighting machine. Everybody's gonna wanna be protected by me, especially the girls. All right then. You're gonna need a makeover, Luigi. Wait, what? What kind of makeover are you even talking? <laughs> there we go. I'll put him in his bedroom. That way he'll stay safe. My unwillingness to give up and my willingness to impress girls is stronger than any teleportation machine! Now, Dad, let me fight in peace! This is war, Luigi! Well, let me fight in war, then! Whatever! But if you get hurt, you're grounded, and I'm gonna cry, and then take you to the hospital, because I'm a good father. Okay, fine, then. Well, I have my armies! You ready to fight? Ready as I'll ever be! The war has begun! The liberation of Zimbabwe is being commenced! Ah, oh, crap. Hold up. There we go. Go on, kick their asses! That actually kind of hurt. Oh, I'm a kick at your butt. Ah, 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 ah. I'm gonna whack you in the head with my gun. Uh, ah, ah. No, put Luigi down. No, we lost. Uh, send in reinforcements. Oh, very well. The Presidential Guard is being deployed! They're trying to throw grenades at the Presidential Palace! Lucifer, we have to escape! I am not gonna die! I'm gonna die for my country! And die for Rhodesia! It's not worth it! We have to get out of here! Dottie's right! We're going upstairs and we're jumping out the back through parachutes because we can't go out the front because we'd be shot at. I refuse to leave! I'm staying here and I'm saving my country! Ah! Get off of me! Ugh. Man, that guy's weak as hell. Well, I'm gonna whack this guy with a gun. Ah! Ah! 
Ah! Well, I guess the battle is won. Ah, the battle is won. The day has been served. Rhodesia is victorious, and we will remain victorious for the rest of. I just shot myself. Maybe you made the right move. We should have stayed. Huh. You know, I do have to protect my family, though. Gotta make sure Luigi's safe. And I did. I, uh, I was the one who won the battle. So, I, I deserve a medal of honor and a lot of pat on the backs. You did really good, Luigi. <laughs> Mario wants to rule his own army! No, uh uh never in a million years, Mario. Why not? Uh, do you... Did you kill one of our people? That's it. You're banished from Rhodesia! <gasps> you can't just banish my son like that! Oh, do you want me to banish you too? I mean, no, but you gotta remember my son's not the most intelligent person in the world. Mm. That's it! Uh, screw you! I'm moving elsewhere! Woo! I am the almighty Wario, and I will be your general! Butt inspection! Past! Butt inspection! Past! Butt inspection! Past! Butt inspection! Past! Butt inspection! Yucky, yucky, ew, 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 yucky, yucky, yucky. Hey, where are you all going? Wait a minute. Who summons thee? It's me, Mario. Well, Mr. Mario, would you be interested to join the Poop Confederacy, the biggest tribe confederation in all the world? I would love to! A man who loves to poop! As long as you love to poop and you love to fart, the poop confederacy, I mean, the butt confeder- the, the butt cheek confederacy. The butt cheek confederacy is the best place for you! First, you need an ass inspection. Hmm, okay. Let me see if you're battle worthy. Oh. Now fart! Okay! <laughs> Ugh, that's gross, but yeah, you're fighting worthy. Hey! Y y yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ready to fight? Now, hurry, everybody! Gather yourselves. The great battle has begun. Ah, uh, everybody. I think we're gonna be okay. Zimbabwe's losing, and I don't think there's anybody else who's gonna step up to the. This is the end of your road! Men, prepare the beans! Here's your bean! <coughs> Yummy! Here's your beans! <coughs> Scrumptious! <coughs> Yummy! <coughs> Scollectable! <coughs> Alright! When will we fire? I'm preparing the fire! What? What the heck are these guys doing? Are they freaking twerking in our faces? FIRE! FIRE! I'm shit in my face! Uh, uh. Crap! My men are being shot on! That's very disrespectful! Uh. Mm. Mm. Aha! We won the battle! Not quite! There are still more to be done! Haha! Uh. Now I begin the fight! Uh. All right, deploy the Rhodesian Defense Force! Fight them off, men! Take care of Papa Luigi and Luigi! Oh, oh no, L Luigi, are you okay? Oh, I'm covered in poo. Taco, 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 chimichango. Would you like me to clean your living room? Uh, I don't know what the heck just happened. Oh, okay. We can uh, fight them with the tacos and uh, give them the uh, diarrhea. Yeah! None of what you're doing is helping right now! 
Uh, taco, 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 Jimmy, Jimmy, Jungle, I can help you. Want me to clean your living room? Oh, you're really starting to get on my nerves! Oh, fine. But seriously, we're covered in shit. Uh, yeah, I, I got shit on. Ugh. Oh, this war's a stupid stalemate now! What? Wait, a bomb? Wait, a bomb? It's a miracle! Who the heck fired that bomb? <gasps> Needed a little help. Uh, yes, desperately! Well, luckily I got you covered. Time to fire some rockets over at the Zimbabwean camp back there. Oh crap, you realize my camp? Oh no! <gasps> I lived in that house! That house has- No, that house had all my toys and all my brony fanfictions! Ah! Welp, it looks like the battle has been won. Wait, Isabella, you were on the helicopter too? Yeah, who do you think was firing all the turrets? It wasn't Rosie. Rosie was the driver. Shut the heck up. I'm sorry, that thing was really starting to bother me. Yeah, that was starting to bother me too, but that explosion made it look the more epic. Exactly. So, yep, we're always glad to help. Now we just need to take care of Zimbabwe man over here. Uh, you killed my entire army! And you also killed the poop army too. I think they just fled. They 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 uh they ate all the beans and then they fled. Yeah, I'm not gonna work for you anymore. I'm just gonna crap elsewhere. I'll just I don't know, I'll take freaking Uganda and make it a crap empire. Uh, well, it looks like your trials are through! Rhodesia stands above the world once again! <sighs> this scene's so beautiful! The sun has returned into the sky! And turned into a sunset! Democracy has been restored! And it will never be threatened again! Uh, screw democracy! I like rewriting history and pretending my nation has existed for 12,000 years! So, what are we going to do now? Yeah, what are we going to do? Alright everybody, I think it's time for rebuilding. Uh, are you going to clean the poo off of us? Uh, I'll get you. Thank you. Finally, somebody who actually cares. Alright everybody, now time for me to walk into the sunset to show my triumphantness. So no of democracy always finds a way. My dad is gone. Now I can rise from the ruins and take over Rhodesia and create a socialist utopia. Uh, uh, Ch Ch Charlie, you're not allowed to do that. Everybody, welcome to my Democratic Republic! Oh my gosh, guys, here comes the best part of the song! Dang, Tommy! Listen, I, I was a little bit socialist and outright communist at times, but listen, I ruled Zimbabwe, not Rhodesia. Well, suck it up, nerd! No! I'm your dad, though! You're grounded! Screw you, dad! You're... grounded even more! Oh. That five years old is the greatest man in the entire world! That five years old is the greatest man in the world. Fat five-year-old builds a nation for his glorious people. Fat five-year-old is a genius because he is very fat. Oh boy, are we gonna be forced to live under communism? Yes you do! 
You're going to work the fields. Go to my factory. Make propaganda of me. And say that I am the smartest guy ever. <sighs> I can't wait to rule this. I'm dead. I'm going to impose democratic reforms and actually be the best ruler of my nation despite being its last. Uh oh, I was voted out of power. Oh, uh, hi guys, I'm the real fat five year old and I'm actually five years old so I can't rule a country. Well, it looks like Rhodesia has been restored. I guess it has. But. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should go off and do something else with my life. What? But you worked this hard! I know I did. But, after a while, it gets tiring. I think I'm gonna let this nation choose its own destiny. With me, it's a dictatorship just for the good standard of living. But without me, it's a true democracy. I just realized, this nation is literally going to fall into anarchy the moment we all leave. Well, we have to continue the Luigi show somehow. You're right. Screw this nation, we're going home. Alright. So what's going to happen with the other Lucifer? The one from Zimbabwe? I don't know, he's probably going to do something that he wants to do with his life. Maybe he'll be after the credits or something. So what are you gonna do? I'm going elsewhere. Hey! What the heck am I gonna get out of the deal? Oh well, I guess I can still bully that five-year-old. Wait, he, he, he's leaving? I guess so. Goodbye, everybody. It's been a damn good time knowing you. And it's been a good time knowing you. And we're glad that we were able to save Rhodesia with you. And go on an amazing adventure. And make a second Luigi Show movie. Yeah, exactly. Well, even though this is a somewhat rushed conclusion, I must say, goodbye everybody. I'll remember you all in therapy. Bye, Rhodesia Lucifer. Bye. 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 Goodbye, everybody. The story of Rhodesia, a land of fair and great On the 11th of November, an independent state This was much against the wishes of certain governments Whose leaders tried to break us down and make us all repent But we're all Rhodesians and we'll fight through thick and thin We'll keep our land a free land from the enemy coming in we'll keep them north of the Zambezi to let rivers run and dry and this mighty land will prosper for Asians never die they can send their men to murder they can shout their words of hate but the cost of keeping this land free can never be too great Cause our men and boys are fighting for the things that they all dear And this land and all its people will never disappear Cause we're all Rhodesians and we'll fight through thick and thin We'll keep our land a free land from the enemy coming in We'll keep them north of the Zambezi to let rivers run and dry and this mighty land will prosper, for Rhodesians never die. Oh, I'm not president of Zimbabwe anymore. I know exactly what I'm going to do. My little pony, because you're all my very best.